welcome to all of you. This is Tech 24, France 24's tech show. This week, we speak to Isabelle Rabier, the CEO and founder of Jolie Moi, a French startup that is revolutionizing how women get beauty advice thanks to a powerful algorithm that tells consumers which product is their best match. And in Test 24, we throw away the sponge to try Bob, no pun intended, the world's smallest and fastest dishwasher by Dan Tech. Now, all eyes have been on COVID-19 this year, but other diseases continue to kill hundreds of thousands of people across the globe. Malaria is one of them, and now the UK government is funding a project which uses satellites and drones to help counter the disease, as Wasim Cornet explains. Could these drones mark a turning point in the global fight against malaria? In this field east of Northampton, drone operators are testing out drones and small portable satellites for a new UK government-funded project called DETECT. Its goal is to tackle malaria at the source. We want to find out where mosquitoes are breeding and then attack them in these breeding sites. Eliminate the larvae of the mosquitoes before they develop into adults and start biting people and spreading the disease. Satellites, which see through darkness and clouds, are used to detect where mosquitoes are most likely to breed. Topography, the environment, and current weather conditions are all examined. A tracker drone is then sent to determine whether the standing water is in fact a mosquito breeding site. It is used to plan missions of the sprayer drone. So as soon as we receive the remote sensing data, as soon as they are generated from those imagery, we then, uh, a team, then plans the mission for the sprayer drone. Developers have also made sure their project does not damage the environment. The bacteria that is used only targets mosquito larvae and has no effect on other fauna and flora. What we are proposing by using some clever space technologies is a very cost-effective uh, strategy, but in addition, it is going to provide a lot of secondary benefits to communities. The project plans to create jobs such as ground staff and data monitors in communities that welcome the program. Managers are also proposing that half of those jobs be allocated to indigenous women, who are frequently marginalized even within their own communities. The technology has already been tested in Zanzibar and Guyana, but the project is aiming for a global rollout to eradicate malaria completely. The current global pandemic has changed consumer expectations in a big way. As lockdowns were imposed across the world, personal safety and hygiene became top concerns. And in that context, one area in particular has seen unprecedented growth, and that is online sales. All industries are concerned by this transformation, including the beauty sector. And one success story is Jolie Moi, a startup based in Paris that has harnessed artificial intelligence to assist women in finding the right beauty products online. It hosts 40 beauty brands and has more than a thousand beauty ambassadors in France and Belgium and is set to extend to the rest of the world. Well, joining me now is the founder and CEO of Jolie Moi, Isabelle Rabier. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us here on Tech24. Hi, Julia. So you actually launched this concept before the global pandemic three years ago. What is it all about and how did you come up with the idea of bringing customized beauty advice to women? Well, I came up with the idea from my previous um, entrepreneur um, journey where I actually had my own brand. And I realized that, you know, more and more people wanted to consume products um, which they got recommendation from you know, peer to peer, um, and they wanted to have an authentic recommendation and a very personalized recommendation. So um, we also saw um, the rise of social media, which represent great channels to install those conversations between a customer and an ambassador. And today we have developed a new kind of um, beauty advice and selling through a social selling platform for all beauty brands. We have uh, over a thousand ambassadors, as you said, in France and Belgium, and we um, use inter intelligent, artificial intelligence to help them, um, you know, converse with the customers and advise them in a very uh, personalized way online, especially um, the, 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 the 
the pandemic and the context has been accelerating the use of um, social media, especially uh, for consumers to search for beauty products and for beauty recommendations. And our platform today is able to accompany those uh, people in search of you know, um, new products and a very personalized um, advice. So now tell us more about how you develop the algorithms. What kind of information, for, for, for instance, are you collecting? Yes, we developed our own algorithm in-house with our tech team and our CTO, Mathilde Lemay. These algorithms uh, are based on um, customer needs, such as, of course, uh, their skin type and um, their skin uh, tone and so on. And also what they are looking for, what is their main problem and also what they seek in their products and formulas, for instance. Uh, based on that, we match the customer needs with uh, the catalog of products we have, and we score uh, defining a beauty match between our consumers and our catalog of products, and ensuring that they, they have a personalized beauty routine uh, really tailor-made. Now, how do you envision the future of the beauty sector, and which technology do you think will play a key role going forward? Well, you know, as a leading platform in France for social selling, we believe very strongly in all technologies that we enable um, um, recommendation and uh, products uh, test uh, online, obviously, so all the augment, uh, augmented reality technologies and also all the technologies that bring um, conversational um, um, experiences to the customer and more. Uh, more transparency also uh, um, around the products and the clean beauty um, technologies. Isabelle Rabier, the founder and CEO of Jolie Moi, thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you very much, Julia. Goodbye. And on set with me now is Peter O'Brien, uh, looking uh, beauteous as usual. Hello and welcome. Mm, well, thank you, Julia. Yes, it's all natural. Uh, no technology needed, although I do have a bit of powder on, it has to be said. <laughs> and that pink looks lovely on you. Oh, thank, thank you, you. for uh, being with us today. So what kind of competition is Jolie Moi facing today? Right. So uh, not so much at the moment, but there will be a lot more in the future. So just across the channel in the UK, there's a similar company, a website called decipher.me. And they're doing a similar thing, but they're cutting the humans out of the equation completely. So what you do is you answer just three questions. You take three selfies, you send them to the website, and they look through their catalogue of more than 20,000 tones to, to print you out a, a foundation which is the exact right skin tone for you. And from what I've seen from review, reviews online, online the, the tone is actually perfect, but at 40 pounds, so about 45 euros, it is on the more expensive side. So you do expect the quality of the foundation to be a little bit better than what I've seen it is online. So that's for the, uh, everything that's online, that's digitized. Uh, what about physical products uh, that are actually that you, you would have in your bathroom? Yeah, so the gizmos and gadgets that we've seen influencers take hold of en masse are having a huge effect on the market because obviously they're helping the influencers to garner clicks, which is then helping these products ship. So this is one uh, by Reduit, another French startup, and they claim to be much more sustainable than normal um, beauty sprays because they use less than 5% of the same skincare formula that a normal spray would use. They say the way they do this is through ultrasonic diffusion and magnetic misting, which they don't really describe how it works so much, but it's basically ultrasound um, and mag magnetic waves, uh, which, which allow the, the diffusion of, of the um, skincare product to be a lot finer and to cover, cover the skin a lot better and to allow absorption into the skin a lot better too. Now, here on Tech24, we're all about startups, but of course, uh, larger groups are also innovating in that particular sector. L'Oréal yeah. is about to come out with a very innovative product yeah. as well. Yeah, so L'Oréal are sticking their ore in big time with this. It's um, what's called a physical and a digital innovation, which they're calling Fidgetal. I don't really, not really sure about that name, to be honest. But so you can see it's this physical object. So it's, it's a totem pole looking thing, which you have in your, your bathroom. You send data to it in a similar way as the, um, as the decipher.me worked. Um, so you take some photos, you answer some questions. And what it will do, will, it, it will create the perfect um, serum or moisturizer for you at that time of day, day for those weather conditions outside based exactly on your skin tone. And it will, it will squirt it up into, into the top of the, of the uh, object there from the ingredients and the motors that it has inside it. Not right. only does it have moisturizer, it's also got one for lipstick and, um, and foundation as well. So it's, 
So this it's is quite proof amazing. that we are going towards more customized beauty products yeah. going forward. Thank you very much indeed for that, Peter. Uh, we're now going to move on to Test24. If you live in a very small apartment, you may want to listen into this Test24. On set with us today is the world's smallest dishwasher, and it's not an understatement. His name is Bob. Look at this little guy. Yeah, it would be would have been perfect for the flat I used to live in, which is a tiny, tiny Parisian flat. I would have killed for something like this. So you open it up with just a touch there. It's made by a French startup called Dan Tech, and they say it's the smallest and the fastest and the lightest dishwasher in the world. It can fit um, the cutlery and crockery that two people use in a day, and it will wash it in 20 minutes. You can connect it to the water supply, but you don't don't need to. If you don't do that, you can just fill it up with a bit of water in the top, like a coffee machine. Um, and not only does it have um, obviously the washing capability, but it also has a UV disinfection tool. So let's check we've got the right thing on there. If I turn it on there, hopefully you'll see the lights go purple. And what it's doing, now we have to choose the duration and it will go purple and that just means whatever you put inside, so it could be your phone for example, it doesn't have to be your washing, you can, you can disinfect anything using UV light as well. Which can come in handy in these difficult times. Yeah. What about, uh, how much is it? Yeah, so it's about the price of, it's at 300 euros, it's about the price of a regular, I'd say mid-range um, normal dishwasher, but obviously the advantage is that it is a lot smaller so it would fit into a smaller flat. But it does indeed come at a hefty price. Thank you very much indeed for that, Peter. It actually brings us to the end of this week's edition of Tech24. We hope you enjoyed it. You can watch it again on our website, France24.com. See you soon.